Well, it's been a very difficult hike, but here we are, obviously, at a mine portal. And a pretty big one, too. The height of the portal here is over six feet. And let's just come inside just a little bit. You may be able to hear my dog breathing heavily behind us. Yeah, we're inside now where we're not going to be able to see too much because of the darkness, obviously. Dog is disappearing into the shadows. It's not really a good idea to go in here much further anyhow. Come on, Cody, we're going to get out. Using the history feature that's available in Google Earth can be very helpful. Notice these two satellite images of exactly the same area. The one that was taken in 2015 you would expect to be the best image because it's the most recent, but actually the one taken in 2011 shows much more clarity. So keep in mind that when you're looking for detail in these satellite images, sometimes it's helpful to go back in time and check to see what sort of images are available that were taken in the past. Not only clarity can be better, but also sometimes features can be visible in earlier satellite photos that aren't visible in current images from Google Earth. This is another example of the importance of using the history feature. Now I viewed this particular satellite image on 8415, but the image itself was actually taken on 52614. The little uh, wishbone image in the upper right hand corner, that's just to uh, use as a reference point so that when the next image comes up, you'll see it there, and you can see that the image is exactly the same area, but it's going to look a little bit differently because it was taken at a different time. This is the start of the perception test part of the video. Now this image was taken two years earlier than the previous image that you just looked at, and you'll notice, perhaps you'll notice, there's something a little bit different about this image. Look very carefully and see if you can see a, a very important uh, feature in the image that would uh, be a clue as to where a mine might be. If you haven't seen the feature that may be man-made, go ahead and pause the video at this point and look a little bit longer. This feature doesn't look like much, but it was enough to intrigue me. So the first thing I did was use Google Earth to get a, a coordinate for where this feature was exactly. And then I hiked into the area using my GPS and found what this thing was. What I suspected it was was some sort of a rock wall, and that turned out to be true. And here it is, just as I suspected, a rock wall. Actually, it's a retaining wall, and up at the top of this retaining wall is an old road. And this is a very steep bank, so the retaining wall was necessary so that the, the road wouldn't be washed away. Now, once I found the road, then, of course, I followed it, and right around the corner, I was able to find the mine. To this Google Earth image, I've added the following reference points. One is the mine portal that I found. There's also the road and the wall that I initially found, and also the coordinates for the Good Hope mine, according to one of the mine databases. Now notice that the uh, distance between the mine portal I found and the Good Hope mine is about 219 meters, and that's within the accuracy range of the database, which is 500 meters. So my theory is that the mine that I actually found was the Good Hope mine, and that the exact latitude and longitude given in the mine database was not correct, at least not uh, accurate to exactly the spot that they indicated. I hope some of the tips that I've given here are useful to you in your searches for interesting areas uh, out in the field. Here's some particular sites for finding mines, for example.
Good luck in your adventures.